Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a little small review and recap on the new episode of Jituwa with Tashiwa, which is on episode 5, or you could call it Actually I Am, or The Truth Is I Am, you know? Anyways, this episode right here on episode 5, I gotta say, I actually had some fun times with it, you know? It's just like, um, it's pretty simple in a way, if anything else, I'm just being a little honest. Um, but I think we get to know a couple things here and there, and that ending right there is pretty hilarious. <laughs> I think in my mind, what the hell, man? I guess like, um, this series, I guess this series knows how to like break a lot of crazy stuff around, you know? So if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning, we have two of that Shiragami and... Asahi are like walking to school and apparently you know like uh, we figure out that Shirogami will get an easy 10 when it comes to the sunlight since she's a vampire you know but apparently there's some crazy stuffings here and there that's been causing some major ruckuses you know but that's not the case exactly um the first half of the episode is about Shirogami Yoko trying to avoid the sunlight to not try to get a tan but apparently you know <laughs> Things are not looking out so well. Though, she is good at doing sneaky stuff and ninja, ninja style kind of stuff, you know. It is pretty hilarious, you know. But, eventually, you know, there will be... There, there, ca there came a time where, um... I believe... Shiragami Yoko will have to, like, um... Go through the sunlight due to the fact that there's not going to be any more spots of shade to get through. But... You know, Asahi asked Shirogami Yoko one question. Have you ever thought about using sunblock? And she goes like, uh, uh, what's that, you know? But Nagisa and Asahi already knows about that already, which is really, really hilarious, honestly, because, like, um, the way how it was said and produced like that, you know, it, it's just funny because, like, <sighs> it's just because, like, how you how are you supposed to say it? Um, she never used sunblock before and so forth. So she so yeah, when she used it, she doesn't get an easy tan. And then the other second half is about like um Asahi and Suragami Yoko going to an amusement park, trying out these rides, roller coasters, and it's pretty fun, you know. I like it. And you know Nagisa likes the fact that they're getting close as a partnership or a friendship but she feels uneasy and I go like well of course you feel uneasy you fell for him you, you dimwit <laughs> and when it came to like um, ending the park off after doing a haunted house here and there we get to find out that Shirogami Yoko has a childhood friend it was a wolf man I think in my mind oh are you serious about like wolves 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 really I'm sorry. I mean, I just had to do that because the because the ending shows like um, hey, keep an eye on Yoko, okay? If things get out of hand and her school life without mercy, and he goes like, sure thing. And when that time comes, give her to me. He says. I'm thinking in my mind, what the freaking heck? Are you serious right now? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this episode right here came out pretty cool, you know. I mean, I actually had some enjoyment as always. Somehow, you know, I thought I would not really, like, see a lot in this series, but for some reason, I actually do. It's pretty crazy how I could think in the wrong situation and think at wrong times in certain spots here and there, you know? Well, it just usually depends on a certain series, you know? Since this is supernatural and it's, like, involving monsters and aliens as a harem, dude, I think I could get used to it. <laughs> yeah. So, pretty cool. Anyways, next episode, the big bad, the big bad wolf's coming in town. Oh! Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, I'm Afizero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right? Do do do.